Hi, this is Kathy. In this video, I'm going to show you how to work with Google Maps and Google Earth. It actually is pretty easy. One way you can get to the mapping website is up in the address bar. Type maps.google.com and press enter. You may find it easier when you're logged into Google. Just click the apps icon and come down and click maps. You can type Google Maps right in the Google search, and you can find information about Google Maps right here. I'm going to click the Google Maps link. This is the search bar. I'm going to type Maricosta College. It's looking for words that started with M-I-R-A. You don't even have to type out the whole string. So it found Maricosta College at Manchester Avenue, Maricosta College at Bernard, this one with the star. That's there because I actually saved this as a search. So I'm going to click that one. So this is what the window looks like in the map view when you search for something. These would be your search results. If you have an older version of maps, which is referred to as classic maps, your window might look different. But your computer should have been upgraded automatically to this version. So here it is showing a map of Maricosta College in Cardiff. This is called a pin. And here's a photo of the street. And over here, it gives me information about my search. It gives me the address. It gives me a picture. I can get directions. Here's the phone number. This means I've saved it. So this is a great way to search for business. Just type the business in the search box, and if you've spelled it correctly, even if you spelled it incorrectly, Google may find it. As a business owner, you might want to send a map of your business location to a customer, and that's really easy to do. Search for your business, and when the business shows on the map, come down on the, in the right corner, click the gear icon, and click Share or Embed Map. Right now, we're looking at the Share setting. So Share Link, this is the link. And right here, Short URL, we'll make it shorter. Remember, URL stands for Uniform Resource Locator. It's another word for website. So now, you can just highlight this. You can right-click and choose Copy. And you can send that to somebody. And I, in the assignment, I'm, you're going to send me a short URL of a business. So that's how you would do that. If you have a website and you'd like to embed a map, you click here. And this would be the website code. You can click that to select it and do Control-C is the keyboard shortcut for copy or Command-C if you're on the Mac. And you can copy that, and then you would put that code in your website or any type of web page that allows you to embed something. All right, I'm going to close that window. When you do a search, you don't necessarily have to spell everything out. You don't have to spell it east or street or drive. You can just use the abbreviations, and Google will, will figure it out. Over here in the lower right-hand corner, this is a location button. If it's enabled, when you click it, it will show on the map where you're currently located. This is the zoom button. So that's to zoom in, and the minus is to zoom out. You can also zoom in with the plus sign on your keyboard. So I just use my keyboard or the minus sign on your keyboard. You can move a map with your mouse by pointing to the map and just dragging it. Many times on your map, you see little icons like this. So that's, a, that's an icon for a school. Here's an icon for a park. There's another one over here. And when you click on that icon, over in the left window, it gives you information about that location. Now I'm going to get driving directions. Here's the directions. So right now, it is giving me driving directions from the two locations I searched, Maricosta College on Manchester and the Natural Trails location that I clicked on the map. So it's giving me two ways to get there. This way is going to be four minutes and this way by car, and this is 40 minutes by walking. So if I want to take this route, I click on it, and it changes. But what I really want to do is I want to go to Maricosta College in Oceanside. So I'm going to type Maricosta College again, and that's the Bernard address. So here it's saying it's going to take me 5 hours and 12 minutes, but I don't want to walk. I would rather drive. All right, so up here on the left, here's an icon of a car, so I'm going to click that. 
then that changes it to driving. Over here, it shows that there's an accident. I'm going to click over, back over here on the left, details. So these are the driving details. If you need to print these, there's a printer icon right here. And you can choose to include the map or the text. If you want to see the traffic, there's a show traffic option. Here's the traffic right here on some of these side streets. For some reason, it's not showing the traffic on, on the freeway. OK, this is routing me through Natural Trail, so I need to change that. So up here, notice how I have three destinations. If you just come to the right of the destination you want to delete and click the X, it will delete that. And then it will reroute it. Now it's showing the traffic. OK, back at the map, this is an alternate route. This will take 35 minutes, and then this one will take 27. So when you're getting ready to go somewhere, it might be a good idea to create a map to see which is the quickest because you can see the, the current traffic. So you can see if there's an accident that, that might slow you down. OK, in your driving direction, sometimes you're going to have this option that says Route Options. And if you want to avoid a highway or a toll or ferries, for instance, you can click in these boxes to avoid a highway, and then the map will change. So I said I wanted to avoid a highway. So now it's taking a different way to get there. And if I get rid of the check in highways, it's going to reroute it. In the route, when you're looking at the traffic, the blue indicates the route. The red indicates slow traffic. And this orange would be, use caution, a little bit slower. And sometimes you might see a green, which means the, the road's clear. OK, now I want to talk about Street View. OK, so here's our map. And again, the yellow and orange markings, red markings, green markings have to do with the, with the traffic. So right here, I can click this little guy. And that will turn on Street View. So notice how the image has changed. I'll click again to turn it off. OK, now I have it on. OK, here's those natural trails. And when I point to it, I didn't drag anything, I just pointed. It's showing me some images. When I click, it gives me the information about that location, and it gives me the street view. So now I can click here, and it actually changes the map into a 3D view, and it shows me the street. So I can take my mouse, and I can just kind of drag this around, and that moves this as well. I can click that also. And I can zoom in, zoom out. So actually, this is pretty awesome. And to go back to the regular map view, click right here, back to map in the lower left corner. And it takes me back to my map. And if I click this little peg man again, it takes me out of the street view. Have you ever wondered how Google gets its street view photos? Google typically uses a car with a special revolving camera fitted on top. So it might look something like that. For locations that it can't get to in a car, it uses the, what they call the trike, the trolley, and the snowmobile. But again, most of the time they use an auto with a camera. I'm back in Street View. So any place I point on the map, I get a picture. So that's pretty cool going to get out of Street View. Now let's talk about Google Earth. It's really easy to use Google Earth with this update. There's an Earth button right here. In previous versions of Maps, there was, it was a satellite icon. So I'm going to click there. And it switched the view to Google Earth. I'm going to close these images by clicking these double down arrows. OK, so it's, it took this, the map location we were looking at it, and it switched it to Earth View. OK, so now I'm using my mouse to move the map. This is the ocean. This is the Pacific Ocean. This is the coast right here. This button over here will tilt the view. That gives you a better 3D view. I'm going to zoom out. And I can move my map around. I can keep zooming. And eventually, I'm going to see a globe. And then I can rotate the globe like this. You can also do searches when you're using Google Earth. Click in the search bar and type what you want to search for. And then you can click the search button. If you want to bring up something that you've already searched for, you can simply click it in the list. 
So it found Maricosta College, and these little icons, um, this is the icon indicating that this is a school. Many people use Google Earth like they do Google Maps by searching for something. You can even um, do directions. And with a 3D view, it just it gives you a more realistic view of, of, of the area. OK, I just zoomed out. When you're in Google Earth view and you, you're looking at the driving directions, you also can choose a different route, just like you can when you're in the regular maps view or the street view. And when you click on it, it tells you how long it's going to take you to get there. So the only difference is this is 3D, where the map view is not. I'm going to search for community colleges. All right, so see all these little points here? So this icon, that's a college. This is a college. This is a college. This is the college. So if I want to get information about San Diego Community College, I can click on that icon, and it changes the results right here. OK, let me t search for another business, Costco. Searching for Costco, I'm going to click Costco. I didn't search for Pacific Store. It found four locations. There's one here. There's one here. There's one here. Notice that this icon is a shopping cart. Over here, it's telling me that this Costco is 3.4 miles from my location. This is 4.2, and this is 3.8. So if I click on one of those, then it's going to give me the address and options to get the directions. Here's a website. tells me the time it's open. gives me a picture. So there's really so many things that you can find out for when you're using Google Maps. It's very helpful for business and for personal use. Google Maps is one of the most popular Google applications used. It's used quite extensively, not only on a computer, but also on smartphones. OK, I think that's just about everything you need to know for this class for Google Maps and Google Earth. If you have questions, let me know. Thank you.